While casting for Doomsday Preppers, I've had the opportunity to meet some of the most hardcore preppers out there. And the Prepare to Endure Expo is the best place to see what items they'll depend on for their survival. We're here to see bunkers, weapons, survival gear, and even food. So I'm here with Chris, and she is selling Wise Food. So tell me a little bit about the importance of food in your preparedness plan. Well, it is really important in case of uh, a disaster, and it just really makes sense for people to start planning ahead because storms and famines are just increasing and getting worse all around the world. I have uh, several different buckets. I have uh, fruits, vegetables, meat, uh, cereal, and dinner. I think it's important to have all this, and especially because it has uh, a shelf life of 25 years. Wise Food Storage Kits can supply a family of six with three to six months worth of food. But any food I'm keeping that long better taste good. Hi, I just wanted to come and test out some of your products. What well, we got it? some samples here. With great tasting, great A quality, uh, storable type food, 25 plus year shelf life, it's called New Mana Food Store. We want great A quality ingredients. Okay. We want it in storable food, we want it great tasting so that you're gonna want it now and in the future for your family. It's really hot. Here goes nothing. Hmm. I kind of like it. It's not that bad. <laughs> it, what is it? Maybe like a little bit of like garlic. Sometimes the best prep is a little extra education, like learning to identify edible plants in the wild. I'm here with Christopher Nergish from season one of Doomsday Preppers, and he's going to be teaching me what wildlife edibles to eat during a disaster. You never want to eat anything that you don't know. I have some examples from the mustard family. I've never ate anything like this before, so... Wait, wait, wait. You never ate anything like this? Did you ever have mustard on a hot dog? Well, mustard from the grocery store. Try one of these little flowers. It tastes like a broccoli. But you tell me. You may like it, you may not. That's hardly a taste. Right? Right? It's kind of like broccoli. This is called carob. This is the ultimate survival food. It has a lot of the B vitamins, meaning you're getting your protein. It has a lot of sugar, meaning it tastes good. It has calcium. It's richer than milk. It, it actually is it's really good. It's actually really good. It's I like that. It's actually really good. This is the um, uh, nopales or the uh, prickly pear cactus. Get all of this off. And tra traditionally in Mexico, this would be made into salsa. It's a little slimy like okra. And <laughs> do you like the flavor at least? The flavor is like Maybe a- Maybe if I dipped it in hummus. Having the know-how to store and find food is essential. But next time, I'll learn that even in the end of days, there is no place like home. Everybody knows that round is stronger than square. Nobody lives in a round anything. 